Hi guys, Ryu here with another tutorial for Blender and let's talk about adding mats to Blender with one click. Now for this we're going to be using hard ops, uh, so add-ons, because we are normal people, only crazy people work without add-ons. And let me show you how it's done, and before I do that, let me turn the screen cast keys so no one is complaining that I didn't have it on. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is press Alt-M and add blank mat, and let me show you how it looks. And that's how you add mods in Blender with hard ops. Well, that's it for today. Hope you'll end just joking. So anyway, um, let's see what else we can do because it's all nice and juicy, but it doesn't get me really wet yet. So let's see what else we can uh, cook up with hard ops. Uh, by the way, hard ops received an update recently, like a few days ago, and you should check it out because it's really amazing. Updates for hard ops, of course, are free if you bought the uh, core add-on. So go and check it out. It's called Mercury and has a lot of cool shit. So I uh, highly suggest you, you go ahead and download it. So anyway, uh, let's keep rolling. So Alt-M, um, that's a regular mat, right? Let's switch to uh, look dev and maybe switch to some other mat cap. There we go. Now Alt-M with, with Shift, I'm going to add Glass. With Alt, I'm going to add Emission. But it's not a normal emission, not just a regular, you know, emission. It's a special emission. It's actually a pulse. So if I'm gonna um, roll up, roll out the um, um, timeline and play it, you'll see it's pulsating, right? Now you can change the um, the rate of the pulse by going to Shader Editor and just adjusting these values here. So if you click on it, you can adjust the values here to something crazy like this and get blinded. So let's turn it off and stop this Jesus Christ. So when you add materials, right, um, Alt-M, you will see this menu here popping up that. So if you click on it, you can actually switch on the fly between them. So between glass and mission, and you can, by the way, switch off the, the pulse in here. So if you don't want it and principal shader, etc. In addition, um, hard ops will add um, kind of like a sci-fi friendly metallic grayish scale material. So it doesn't matter how many times you click, you're going to get the same thing. But you'd say, well, come on, man, it's a lot of work to just click, right? And you don't have to do that really because all you need to do is click on Alt M and if you hover over the menu, you're going to get additional options, right? So if you, for example, have a lot of items, let's say, you know, you have this one and this one and this one and this one and this one, and we can multiply them even by a few more, right? So check this out. I select all of them. Now, if I uh, go to Alt M and um, Control click this add blank mod, I'll add different mod to every single object with one click. Right now, it gets better. What you can also do is go to an object and Alt M and go to Material Scroll, and if you um, Shift click it, right, you will add a destructive mod, which means it will add mod outside of the mods that you have in the library. So different than uh, what you have uh, in here and you can also check it very easily by pressing alt m you will see all the mods displayed now alt m and again shift click and you will be able to scroll indefinitely through all kinds of combination of mods so that's that another thing that you can do which is really cool okay if you go to um let's, let's create a cube and go to uh, solid mode. Let's duplicate it. Add the mod to this one. Actually, let's select them both and control click them. So we're gonna get two mods for the different mods for both of them. And now, what I want to do is uh, let's see. This is material 34, right? So I want to cut this cube, but I want to add this material to this cut. In vanilla Blender, it's impossible to do. It literally can't do it because you will need to apply the modifier, right? You need to apply the boolean, then you need to um, select the faces, go to material, click on plus, add the material, right? So from a list, for example, and then press on add, right? Assign, and that's how you do it. So in vanilla blender, it can't be done. It's just impossible. Now in hard ops, what you do is go here. What was 34? 34. You go here. Go to so control tilde menu. Go to this uh, mat section cutting material and we select mod 34 
Okay, I know Kai. And check this out. Boom. And that's how you should work. Smart. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the vid. Give us a like and subscribe if you did. And I'll talk to you in the next one.